Back last April, Congress created the Paycheck Protection as part of the CARE Act to help America cope with the effects of COVID-19. The Paycheck Protection Program provided $659 billion to the Small Business Administration. That infusion of money was loaned out to businesses to cover their payroll and to help them survive. The program ended on August 8th, but it is still making a big impact. Ashlyn Webb takes a closer look at how Central Georgia businesses were affected in this story, new at 11. Outside Satterfields and Macon, people wait for a bite to eat of their tasty barbecue. Slice fatty or lean? Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, workers slice up fresh brisket and toast buns, preparing food and getting it out the door. Owner Ben Hampton says all of this is possible because of a loan from the Federal Paycheck Protection Program. I mean, we would have been really close to shutting our doors had we not, or had to let everyone go. It would have, you know, either close us down or I would have had to let go a lot of staff that depend on this to, you know, feed their families. Satterfields opened their dine-in restaurant in early February. Before then, they focused on catering. We were already trying to just kind of get on our feet as a as a business, and then once this came around, it pretty much catering went to zero overnight, and lunch business probably cut in half at least. The Small Business Administration says Satterfields is one of 8,455 Central Georgia businesses that receive loans. The program put between $516 million to $902 million into the region. Three of those got between $5 and $10 million apiece from the federal government. They are Cayman, a kale and exporting company in Macon. Federal records say the loan would save Cayman 30 jobs. A Perry company, Florida Concrete Services, they listed 465 jobs. And in Sandersville, Howard Shepard, a kale and trucking company. According to the federal records, the Shepherd Company did not list how many jobs would be affected. We reached out to all three companies to ask how the loan program helped them. Florida Concrete Services and Howard Shepherd said they did not wish to comment. Cayman did not respond. So how did the feds distribute the money? Terry Dennison, Georgia District Director of the Small Business Administration, says it was based on monthly payroll. The basic formula for calculating what the maximum PPP loan amount would be would be to take your average payroll cost um, and multiply that by 2.5. And that gave you your base figure for the maximum amount that that loan could be. Hampton says Satterfield's got a little over $20,000 from the program. It was just straight payroll. Um, you know, it, it went to paying our, you know, employees their salaries. Dennison says since the loan program is now over, now she enjoys hearing the success stories. Being able to still help support them uh, is just incredible. Like over at Satterfield's. We're going to keep making, you know, food from scratch and smoking meat daily. There it is. Reporting in Megan, Ashland Webb, 13 W Amazing News. Businesses who received loans through the Paycheck Protection Program may be eligible for loan forgiveness if the funds were used for eligible payroll costs, payments on business mortgage interest payments, rent or utilities. All Central Georgia companies who received PPP loans of $150,000 or more are listed in this story on our website, 13WMAZ.com.